Concept 2 notes on classifying reactions. And y'all, I'm going to be honest, this is not the one that I think is great to watch on here because I'm going to be doing a lot of demonstrations in class of each um, type of reaction we're going to see. So this is kind of going to be the least helpful YouTube video lecture note series ever. Um, it's much more helpful in class. So definitely make sure you pay attention in class when um, we do the demos or at least watch the videos um, that I'll show you. So all chemical reactions can be classified into five different types. Synthesis, decomposition, combustion, single replacement, or double replacement. Each reaction has very distinct characteristics, making them easy to identify. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk through each of the five types, and after I talk you through um, the characteristics of how to identify them, I'll give you a demonstration of what it looks like in real life so you can see for yourself. So, a synthesis reaction is when two or more reactants combine to make one product. So in a generic equation, it'd be like A plus B yields AB. So two elements make a compound. Examples um, would be like sodium and chlorine making sodium chloride. Water and um, SO3 making H2SO4. So two things becoming one. All right, that's synthesis. All right, we are going to watch this video in class, Purple Haze. It is taking aluminum and um, iodine and making aluminum iodide. And I can't demonstrate this in my classroom because I don't have a hood and it makes a lot of Purple Haze. But we'll watch the video in my class. All right, the next type is decomposition. This is when one reactant breaks down into two or more products. So taking my generic equation again, it's just the opposite of synthesis one compound breaking down into two elements. So this would be like water breaking down into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, or H2CO3 breaking down into water and carbon dioxide. This I will do with you guys. This is elephant toothpaste is our fun name for it. And we're going to take hydrogen peroxide and it will decompose into water and oxygen gas. So we're going to do this in class. Now, the next type of um, classification is a combustion reaction. And this is anytime anything is burned, it's combustion. Oxygen, O2, is always a reactant, and carbon dioxide and water are always products. This should be the easiest one to identify. So, examples. CH4, methane, plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water. Or here, CH3, CH2, OH, and oxygen makes CO2 and water. All right, so the first one may change, but you should always have oxygen as a reactant and CO2 and water as products. And I'm going to demonstrate this one for you um, with the murder of a gummy bear. It's going to be the first part is a decomposition reaction. We'll watch potassium chlorate decompose into potassium chloride and oxygen. And the reason we do this is to get that oxygen gas so that it will be there for when we add the gummy bear so that they can burn and make carbon dioxide and water. That's going to be the combustion that we're going to observe. All right, two more. Single replacement. These two, I think, are the hardest to identify. So this, we're looking for one element replacing a similar element in one compound. So A element plus this compound, the A and the B switch. So now you have the B element by itself and a new compound. All right, so for example, copper and silver nitrate make copper nitrate and silver. So the copper and silver just trade places. You're looking for one element, one compound. Same here, zinc and copper sulfate make zinc sulfate and copper. So the zinc and the copper switch spots. One element, one compound. That's single replacement. And this is, in quotations, rusty, because it's not really going to make rust, nails. And this is um, a really cool one. Hopefully I can show you in class, but if not, there's a great video of it. And this is the single replacement reaction where you'll be watching the iron and the copper switch places. So what will look like rust will actually be copper. And last but not least is double replacement. This is when two ionic compound reactants switch their ions and we make two new ionic compound products. And usually if you're watching this you'll get a uh, precipitate that forms. Um, but look at these examples y'all. Lead nitrate and potassium iodide. That's two compounds that make two new compounds. Two compounds make two new compounds. That's what makes this double. Um, this would be my precipitate that would form um, in these solutions. 
All right, and then the demo of this that I'm going to show y'all is chemistry cooking. And um, this is the reaction we're going to see. Notice it's a double displacement. We have two compounds making two new compounds. And then there's also going to be some decomposition happening of this breaking down into the water and carbon dioxide. So I'll show you this one in class as well. All right, and now we're going to practice.